Yeah, congratulations. Obviously, a huge moment in your career, a huge win. Tell us what the, the emotion is like for you right now. Um, it feels great, you know. Uh, I was four fights ago, didn't want to fight anymore, and here I am. I just beat the number three, and I want someone better, so it's good. It's incredible. I mean, you talked about just kind of letting go, I guess, and not caring as much, and that seems to be the key, but now you're working your way up the ranks, as you said. I mean, you're, you're in line for a huge fight, so, you know, do you have to change your attitude again, or do you think that, the, you know, you still kind of just... I still feel the same way. Whatever happens, happens. You know, I'm not pressuring myself to, like... I have to win this fight is everything. Of course, everyone wants to win, you know? And I went into this fight like I went to every other of my last fights that I won. Like, I trained really hard. I know what to expect from her, and I know what I have. I'm gonna put it all out there, and whatever happens, happens, and it happened. Do you feel like Claudia underestimated you in this fight? She said about how there's levels to this game, and you clearly, I mean, you just defeated her. Yeah, I, I mean, I feel like that was a little insulting to me because there are levels of this game. She couldn't do anything with my striking once she knew that I could get up after she took me down. She couldn't take me down again after I got up in the second round, and I lit her up with my, my striking. So yeah, there are levels to this, and she couldn't figure mine out. Well, there were some weird moments in the fight. Uh, second round with the mouthpiece, could you see what was going on there? And, and then also the third round, glove touch, she shoots in immediately off the glove touch. So I want to ask you about those two moments and kind of what was <laughs> going on there. Uh, the mouthpiece, I, I don't know what happened there because I didn't even see it slip out of her mouth. I think she pushed it. I don't know. That was a little weird for me. I think she was a little tired and I might have got her with something. Um, and the, we were we were cool. I thought we were like kind of friends and like, all right, we know business is business, but like the glove touch and the shot, I mean, I was ready for it, but whatever. It's cool. You said you were thinking of quitting a couple of years ago. Now this is four wins in a row over increasingly higher ranked opponents. What has changed with you in these two years? Um, I, I took the pressure off of myself of having to impress everyone. I owed it to myself to see where I belonged in the sport and no one else, and got me here. Um, Claudia was very specific. You already said that. You're also one of the biggest underdogs on the card. Do you just feel that sense of doubt just outside from the outside? Um, people are always going to doubt me because they think I'm riding the train of Amanda Nunes. They didn't know that I was a talented fighter before I met Amanda. So everyone always, you know, all the comments online, all the trolls are like, oh, they're only giving her a shot because of Amanda, this and that. I've been fighting since I was six years old. Um, and everyone's going to see that. How is confidence now because this victory is huge? Because before you didn't want to continue, now you get this big win. You must, be like, you must be feeling on cloud nine right now. You know, this kind of sport, you know, it's a little bit political. It's a little bit like sometimes the best fighter doesn't win. And I feel like I was stuck in that boat for a little bit. You know, my fight against... Ju Tai, like I it was my first time going to 115. I had a horrible cut, and I was like, I felt like crap. And then I lost that fight. It was a pretty close decision. So I was like, all right, the next fight. I went to fight Justine. I felt great. And then I felt like I got robbed by the judges. I'm like, you know what? This just isn't for me. You know, like I got to the UFC. It was great and all, you know. And then I had one more fight. I know three fights in a row. You lose, you get cut. So I went in that fight like with whatever happens, happens. And then I started winning. And then now I'm here, and I still feel the same way I did then. With this win tonight, you are getting closer to a title shot. I know Rose is the champion, but Joanna, regardless of what happens in the co-main event, has expressed interest in coming back down to Strawway. Is that a conversation you guys have had just being at the same camp? No, we've never really talked about it. Uh, when Joanna came to the, the gym, I wasn't even ranked, so she kind of overlooked me. You know, now I'm, it's a possibility I could fight her if she comes to 115. Uh, it's not something we've ever talked about, but it's something that everyone in the gym knows and everyone right. in the gym feels. And if it has to be talked about, it's going to be, you know, like, I could fight Tisha Torres, who's my best friend. We've talked about it. So Joanna, who's just someone in my gym, it wouldn't be that big deal to talk about it if I could talk about it with my best friend about punching her in the face. So it's not a big deal to me. You, you scored this massive win, and now in two weeks, Amanda's going to look to do the same. I mean, it's just the beginning of what really could be the best month of your guys' career. It will be. You know, um, we believe in each other. When, you, when, a, when you're in a sport this difficult, you need that. It's very important. Um, we feed off, off of each other, and when we both lost our last fights, ever since then, we kind of, after she lost to Kat and I lost to Juta, I don't really count the one against Justine because I was kind of like a, um, we both lost those fights within five weeks of each other, and ever since then, we've never lost again because, you know, I lost and she lost. So that momentum, like, I've been winning, she's been winning. We took, like I said, we took the seriousness out of it. We still enjoy our lives on the weekends. We eat chocolate ice cream every now and then, and we just live our lives, and we're happy and we're here. A lot of people say going to this fight that you had very little to lose against Claudia. I don't know if you felt that way yourself, but did that benefit to you tonight at all? No, I don't. I, 
I don't, no one likes to lose, so I didn't go in there like, if I lose, I don't care. Of course I care if I lose. But like I said, I, I don't pressure myself that if I lose, my life is over and this is what I was born to do and I don't have anything else going for me. What did uh, Amanda say after your victory? Like, what words of uh, encouragement, love, or? I didn't hear anything. I was just kind of like in my own <laughs> world. So she'll probably tell me later or something. I'll let you know. The strike you look great tonight. Is there somebody, something that you can attribute that to? I mean, it... I've been working with a, another striking coach. I mean, we have Catal. I work with him as well, and another coach in the gym, Anderson. He's Edson Barbosa's striking coach. Um, but I've actually gotten more comfortable with letting my striking go without being worried about my takedowns. I do have good takedown defense. You know, a couple of them slip in and out, but I know how to stay safe on the ground. I'm a purple belt on paper, but you know, I, I've been grappling for years, so I'm not worried about it anymore. Uh, once I start breaking up their momentum and I start seeing the takedowns, I can start defending them and starting letting go of what my best thing is, and that's striking. What does this do for the family plans? I mean, it seemed like... Not They're on hold. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're on hold. <laughs> when you got to the scorecards, was there any concern or worry at all in your head about whether you got it? or? Did you, you know, I knew I had the second round up until the last minute, but on the on the takedown, you know, she didn't really do much. I was hitting her from the bottom, too, just waiting to make space. Um, but I felt like my striking and my cage control was dominant in the second and third, and when they said unanimous, I knew I won. Does the title eliminator against Tatiana Suarez make sense with the winner of that? Uh, it does. Yeah, you know, Tatiana's four in a row, I'm four in a row. Um, I don't know where Rose is right now with when her target fight is. I know Andrade's there. Um, I don't know who else is there. Like I don't know where this puts me. Fire. I don't know if they're going to give me something in the title contention or they're going to give me, like, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to say yes. How much sooner do you want to get back in there? Come again? How much sooner do you want to get back in there? Not too soon. <laughs> Give me a time. Would you be surprised if you don't get a, a you know, close to a title shot? Yeah, I would. I mean, if it's something that's going to like jump me all the way back, I'll probably pass on it. Just being honest with you, I have told you I'm going on a run here, and whatever happens, happens. I don't plan on, you know, that if I lost this fight, it would have made sense, back of the line, but I didn't. And I feel like I did a pretty good job of showing that I, I could get thrown into the mix. You sort of say that looking at what Gadea, what happened to, to Bonnie tonight, because she was ranked quite a bit higher than you, and look what happened. Yeah, but she's on her downslope. I thought she lost against Carla, so I think this was just kind of like a definitive, like, yeah, you, you had your shot. Hindsight being 2020. 20. That's the expression, right, guys? 2020? Yes. You guys don't think I'm funny anymore. Um, should that fight have been on the main card? I, I guess. It doesn't matter. To me, like, it doesn't matter where the card they put me. Um, I prefer it to be on Fox as more people see it. A lot of people don't want to go out of their way to find a pay-per-view, so I'm, I'm cool with it. How would you like to stay in Toronto? Like? I love it. I love it here, except for the coldness. But I love here. I like Canada a lot. Like, if I ever have to fight international, Canada is my first choice.